Although to some people, maybe mornings are a good thing. Anyhow, um, so yeah, my goal here, I've got several coding goals, and we all know that there's one chess player uh, who's very interested in a particular variant being developed. Um, he's quite vocal about it, and kudos to him for that cause. That's not my cause today. My cause is to just try to bring closure to all my AI things that I'm started on. And once I'm done with all those things, then do what is next to my priority list, um, which at the moment is uh, trying to improve the Lee Chess Insights feature. But to even get there, I have to first address my AI concerns. Um, and at the moment, uh, my AI concern is, well, look here. So we got ratings for each AI level, right? Level 1's 1190, level 2's 1249, and so forth. But if I change the variant, we see level 1's 1190, level 2's 1249, and so forth. So it's the exact same rating, regardless of what the variant is. And I was thinking, you know, I could improve that. Um, but while I'm in there, surely I should just make Stockfish capable of being rated. Like, you know how you create games here and it says casual or rated? You should have the same option here. Casual, rated. My opinion. Maybe in some cases we don't want to have the, ca uh, the rated button available. I don't care. I am not a ma national master. I'd have to actually take interest in openings and competitive chess for that to be... To, for that to happen. For a long time I did find competitive chess really interesting. Now I just find chess is just fun. Um, I don't have any particular competitive aspirations right now. I just want to learn how to play it better. I don't care to actually compete in tournaments. It's just not an enjoyable proposition. <laughs> People really enjoy um, the prestige that goes with winning in big events, but um, that competitive atmosphere is just super tense, and it shouldn't be that way. It should be more fun. Um, and kind of with chess at three on that, um, just that chess should be fun. It shouldn't be competitive. And especially in the light of the fact that um, even the competitive aspects of it, such as rating systems and tie breaks, are highly contentious, if not flawed. Um, so anyhow, if anyone's interested, feel free, I'll put the link here. Um, if anybody wants to play against the AI or stuff while I'm developing, um, AI is running at this address. Um, so, yeah, if people go to that address and start playing, that'll get featured on stream. And if they don't, nothing will get featured, but whatever. Um, I'm just putting that there because uh, this is the site that's got all my AI improvements on it, and I have no way to test it. And Lee Chess also kind of lacks the resources to help me test these things, so I have to take these matters into my own hands. Um, so, uh, where did I leave off? So I want to have this play with the machine button generate rated games the same way that, um, well, that uh, create a game does. And I notice that here, these are like attributes of players. So we can see that there's some kind of ID-ish sort of thing, the player color, white or black, um, the player name, player rating, and so forth. I'm not really sure which of these are what. Um, although given that this one has my name in it, um, this must be just a game versus the AI. Um, I know that some rated games have occurred, I'm just not sure what the data structure looks like for a player who's participating in a rated game, which actually differs from the data structure for a player who's participating in a 
uh, game against the AI. It's really weird. Um, oh, yeah, I think you're right. There are sites that allow you to play an AI in the browser. That's true. Um, right, yeah. So this, this site, this um, URL that I linked in the, uh, in the chat window, that URL points to my copy of Leechess. So if you want to play on it, you could either play anonymously or register an account and all that. That all works just fine. Um, you could probably even do so with an invalid email address. Um, if you're really concerned about maybe I'm collecting emails or something, which I'm totally not. Um, wouldn't it be easy to create something that reads a state? <laughs> Actually, no. It's not easy. Um, if it were that easy, I would have done it. But also... Um, part of certifying that this AI works is that it has to work on Lee Chess. So even if, I mean, I've played against the AI many times myself, even on this dev site, like, um, I don't know, I could play an atomic game and show you what that's like. Well, I'll take black. Alright, so there's knight a3, I'll try to stop it, I'll try to develop my queen, get my bishop out, uh, try to stop the mate, try to stop this mate, Try to stop the mate again. He's threatening this. Uh, I guess to stop mate, I gotta do something like that. Um, try to explode here. Uh, lose all my pieces. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Uh, try explode here. Force to take there. Castle. Uh, rook over. I don't know. Let's get rid of all this. Try to open the center file. Don't get mated. I gave a check. That should count as a victory, right? It's a moral victory. Oh, uh, shoot. So yeah, and this is just me testing it. Looks like it works to me. But, um, I think that LeechS wants a more formal test. They don't want just me going in there and saying, hey, it looks nice. Uh, they want me to, like, do some kind of alpha or beta test of this stuff. Um, to that end, what I'm trying to work on is changing that play against the machine to rate games the same way as any other game gets rated. It's a mess. It's a complete, utter, and total mess. Um, so, let's see. I want to start, I think, in the... AI directory. Uh, so here's what I've changed inside the AI directory. Um, now using Polyglot instead of Stockfish. Polyglot just plays opening moves and then tells Stockfish to play the rest of the game. Um, let's see, what did I change here? Oh, right. Yeah, creates an AI performance thing in the database if there isn't one already rebalance all the AI skills, support atomic chess, um, and yeah, and I'm starting to, um, hmm, I don't know if you guys hear that, um, anyhow, I'm starting to try to work on getting ratings to be able to be rated the same way. Um, but the challenge there is that Stockfish is not a player in the same sense that um, of most players. Uh, so if I want to say locate... I mean, this is going to be a long and painful journey, so you don't feel compelled to stick around. But um, So what I want to do is get the AI to rate like this works, where... Uh, let's see, player, no player, ok, 
Okay, how did this work? Oh, right. So, yeah, we have white as a user, black as a user. And this allows games to be rated into div, uh, various categories. How did I learn programming? Um, I guess through high school and college and just on my own. Um, collaborating with other people. Learning it on your own is just silly because anything you learn um, isn't generally applicable. Like, you always have to collaborate with other people because they'll tell you what you're doing right and wrong. Whereas if you just go off and read a book and learn it all on your own and never try to go back and collaborate with other people, your skills, um, however deep they may be, they may not be breadth-wise useful. You might have mastered, I don't know, some really narrow niche aspect of programming, but if you can't figure out how to work with other developers, it's all for naught. Um, so anyhow, I want to be able to call all this stuff to do ratings. Um, okay, so this is the... Um, I'm trying to remember how this all worked again. Uh, so let me look for source code files which um, involve this perfs updater thing. Um, right, so upon conclusion of a game, this performance rating updater thing gets called. Um, And, um, so here's the crux of the matter, is that when a game ends, we see that if we have a white player and if we have a black player, um, then this method gets called to adjust ratings. I've commented out this thing which says adjust AI ratings the old way, because this is something I want to do away with entirely. Um, but you might ask, where do these white and black players come from, right? So finish.white, finish.black. Suffice it to say, this all originates back in um, modules, game. Um, so yeah, here we have a white player and a black player, right? Um, and I'm dumping this Oops, let me actually edit that file. Um, so, this dot pp means take the value, print it out, and then pass it along to the next context where we still need it. Um, but basically, anytime a game is constructed, it has a white player and a black player, right? Um, uh, where did I, where else did I introduce that? Because I need to pare down my logging a little bit. Um, 